Hey guys, hey guys, welcome to Tech University. And this is our podcast where we're gonna be focusing on in this podcast about hiring and some of the things that you can be looking out for and some of the things you can be doing to continue to increase your sales through the hiring process. Uh, so I wanna hit some key points. One of the biggest things I wanna talk about is you should always be hiring. Absolutely. You should always be hiring no matter what. You should have signs on your on your windows, you should have it on your website, on your social media pages. You should always have something up there that we are hiring um, because you never know what's out there and you never know what's gonna happen at your store where you could lose an individual and because you didn't have a sign out there, another individual didn't apply that could have replaced them. So you should always be hiring no matter what, no matter if you're filled or not, because you won't know what the potential is out there coming to look to work with you. So yeah, I mean, uh, talking a little bit about that. Yeah, just to drive it home a little bit further, we all know that you know our team members are our biggest asset to any business, Yeah, right? Team members help a business grow, a business doesn't help a person grow, right? Yep. Um, so always making sure that you're, you're putting your foot out there and seeing what's out there is, is important to help you. You never know when that, that holy grail might come in. Somebody that has uh, some great scale skills and take your business to the next level. But if you're not looking, if you're kind of under a rock, it's very difficult to find. So like you said, always posting those pictures, having the ads up on LinkedIn, Indeed, things of that nature will also help find more candidates. Uh, absolutely. But always be open-minded to, hey, I can always be growing. I can always find an additional resource. Yeah, and let's talk about the industry for say, right? Not just the hiring, but let's talk about the industry or the repair industry. A lot of times we make mistakes as as owners to look for technicians, only knowing how to fix devices. Like I think that's a, a big mistake that we make. Thousand percent. Um, because and maybe you can give some more about this, but one of the biggest mistakes I, I think is you're not going to get in repairs if you don't have a good sales team. Exactly. So you should be hiring. Sales first, right? Right. We talk about this all the time. You know, it's like, what has come first, the chicken or the egg, right? Yeah. And we always talk about what is the most important aspect of business. We talk about promoting people, say customer service. Yeah. It's the same type of thing in the repair industry. A lot of people want to hire technicians because that's the physical work that they're doing on a daily basis. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the sales and the customer service, the win over that repair yep. to actually get that repair is just as important as the step by step process. And I think that's where we have to make the the kind of draw the line in the sand where. I can teach you a step-by-step -step process on how to fix a phone, how to fix an iPad, right? The nuts, the bolts, the screws, they don't change. They're in the same position each and every time. But I can't teach is hard work, work ethic, yes. right? Customer service, being approachable, being friendly. Those are types of things that are characteristics and traits that I would look for in a hire. I can teach you the step-by-step -step repair process. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you couldn't say it any better. Hire sales first. It's so important. That's what's going to bring more business to your door to be able to hire more people to increase your sales. You have to go that route for us. Don't go out there looking for just a technician. I'm telling you, it's a mistake I've made in the past over the last 15 years, but I, I don't make yeah. anymore because I've seen it multiple times and time again Absolutely. that how important it is. I mean, I'll give you a perfect example. We had here years ago, we hired a technician. We could not get our sales above a certain amount. As soon as we hired a salesperson, we tripled our sales just by doing that. So it's so important that you hire sales first. And then also, let's talk a little bit more about when you do the hiring, Yeah. how you should do it. Absolutely. Maybe where you, when you meet up with them, mm -hmm. you should have a, 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 a job description for that individual, yep. right? Their goals, what, what the plans are, what the evaluation is gonna look like in 30 days, right. what they can do, what, how they can make more money. You need to have that description and we'll have that here on Tech University for you if you wanna use a template uh, that you can use in the future. But having a clear path for them is yep. so important. Yeah, having clear, defined job responsibilities and duties, right? To get rid of that gray area and understand these are the expectations and this is how you can be successful at your job is paramount, yep. right? And making sure that you present that and communicate that effectively. And let's kind of rewind a little bit and talk about that interview process. Yeah, that, That's so crucial, right? That's the first impression, right? So, uh, so a lot of the times, whether we're doing phone interviews, I highly recommend getting on a video. Right, let's see these people. Like I mean, a lot of us came from 2020. We're yep. used to be in front of a Zoom or some type of video conference. Let's get on there. Let's let's see what this person's doing. Let's see how they're behaving and really kind of drive that before we bring them into the store and see how they present themselves and how they carry themselves on a video. So definitely, definitely that first interview process, that first impression, so important. Absolutely. Yeah, and for you too as well, when you're when you're on there, the, the impression that you give to them, 
uh, is important. And, and the vision of where the company's going and the, and the drive that they're gonna have. So you have to be ready for that too. And you should have some questions that you always ask. Uh, maybe there's some questions that we can share with them that we wanna always ask. Um, our uh, our hires. So yeah. Maybe you have some questions there. Yeah, absolutely. One of the first questions that I ask is always, "What are you looking for in your next role?" Right. right. You want to see where their mindset is and how engaged they are. Another thing that I always ask is, "What do they know about the company?" Right. Have they done any research? How much do they really care about joining your brand and your company? Right. Yeah. Have they put in? Have they visited the website? Do they understand the position? They truly read the job description, or were they just flying through Indeed and hitting submit? right, to a million different jobs and seeing what's stuck, right? Yeah. So there's a couple of questions that you definitely want to get out to see how engaged they are with the role that they applied to. I love that. And we'll share some of that content with you guys too here on Tech University too as well. So it's so important that you hire you hire the right individuals for your business. It's going to help you continue to increase your sales. And some of the things that I, I always say is hire slow, fire fast. Absolutely. So you need to make sure that you're doing this right so like you don't just I've done it so many times in the yeah. past like I lost a, I lost a technician oh my gosh I need to just hire Joe Smo off the yeah. side you know like no go two three days to find that right person and yes those two three days you might lose some sales but the longevity yeah. of what you're doing uh, it, it really it's important that you you hire slow and fire fast. So just keep that in mind when you're doing those hirings. Yeah, we're going to continue to build this out because obviously, as we mentioned in the beginning of this video, high, employees are your biggest asset of any business, right? Yeah. Making sure that you're, you're constantly engaging and constantly moving forward. The biggest thing is hire for your culture. Hire yeah. for somebody that fits within your team, fits within your messaging, fits within yep. your goals and what you're striving to do and the rest you can train on. Yeah. Right. And it's okay like that, that maybe they're not as much energy as you or all that kind of stuff. It's okay to have a little bit of difference, um, but you just want to make sure they understand what they're going to get into. So, um, you know, thank you so much for being on here for Tech University. We just wanted to break down a little bit more about the hiring process, especially for this industry and the importance of hiring as sales individuals. Uh, but any last words that you want to give to somebody that's watching? Yeah, no, we just really appreciate your time and, and please feel free to, to reach out to us with any other content or anything else that you'd like to see. We're truly here to help the industry and, and help uh, businesses grow. So please don't be strangers. Please reach out to us. You can find us uh, online, techiecompany.com or Tech University. Uh, definitely check out Tech University. A lot of great content on there outside of just hiring. So thank, thank you, you so much. Bye. Perfect. That was exactly eight minutes.